In this video, I'll show you how to properly use Lerping inside Unity's game engine. Lerping is defined where you have two values which you want to interpolate. Interpolation is that, for example, you have two values from 0 to 1, and you want to calculate a path in between given a certain time. And because you can calculate the in-between values, then you can give out a smooth effect on whatever you're trying to do. I've done this many times, for example, with health bars, zip lines, or this example I'm showing you. I'm also gonna show another example where I pick up a weapon. So yeah, stay tuned. In this example, you'll see two ways of looping. The one at the bottom is a perfect linearly interpolation, and the one at the top is also kind of linear, but I've added some post-processing called a smooth diff function, which just kind of makes a soft beginning and end inside of the lerp lerping phase, which is pretty cool. Now with the linear interpolation, I have a transform with two points, and I want to define an origin point and a target point. I also have a target value for some slider stuff, but then I just want to go between the two indexes. I just made this quick up. So if the index is zero, the target is going to be the other point in the index one, the position. And if it's not and is one, then I just set it back to zero. Then I want to define how long of a time do I want it to go from point A to point B. I've just set it to one second. And I also need a float for the elapsed time it's taken from going to point A to point B. Now I can actually lerp. So I can set the transform, the position equals to the vector free that lerp from the origin to target the A plus the A to B point. And then in the third argument, T, we want the percentage from zero to one. And in there, I just set the time elapsed divided by the time to go, because in in the next lines, the time elapsed is just gonna plus equals the time the delta time. So eventually, we're gonna end, reach our end destination and jump out of the while loop. Because it doesn't calculate like perfectly, then at the end of the lines, I'm just gonna set the transform the position equals to the target position, and yeah, then I start the coroutine again to um, yeah show the example. But you don't need the last line. And this is basically how it works. And I'm using iEnumerators to do this lerping. iEnumerators is a really useful thing. With It's kind of like a secondary void update that's temporarily up. It really is pretty nice and neat. It has a lo lot of good use cases, especially with lerping. And... This is how the first example is shown. And the other example is actually the exact same thing. The only difference is I've added this function called smooth death function with the variable float t. First you define the t from zero to one, like the x in a function with the time, time elapsed divided by the time to go. But then I do the, the post-processing effect where I say that t is equal to t times t times, stop parentheses, 3 minus 2 times t, and end parenthesis. Yes. And then you just do the exact same thing. The only difference is that you just switch out the time elapsed divided by time to go with the t. And that's basically it. That's how you get the example at the top. You can also use this to pick up items. So here you can watch my sample where I pick up a shotgun. And just imagine that I'm shooting out a bit. I didn't code any of it for that. But uh, but as you can see, I interpolate the position to some point of attach point, And also I lerp the rotation to ma match it where I want it to point, which looks decent. It, it, it definitely works as a placeholder if you actually want to have like good pick up animations, but this will work for now. And again, the implementation is almost the exact same. 
I've just added some rotation with the Euler angles. But the other thing you also need is some context. Like, for example, the item we want to pick up is a weapon now, it's not ourselves. And you also want it to match some attach point. But the attach point, we don't want that as to be the parent of the weapon. So we want to be our parent to the weapon to be the attached point dot parent. But when we set the the Euler angles and position to yeah the attach point dot local position. So it makes more sense. And then you get this nice effect, which is really cool. But yeah, this is basically it. I'll leave a link to a website which I've used a lot when in the in the beginning when I didn't really know how to do lapping. It's pretty cool. It shows some examples and how to do stuff, and maybe it can help you get more creative with how to use lapping because you can you can use use it in a bunch of stuff. I've also used for, for example like dashing and sliding. It's, it's a nice tool to learn and master. So yeah, this is it. I'm ending the video. Goodbye.